it is the 18th we are officially day four last night was like night three i think in our home yeah um so i noticed my hair my hair i have pregnancy hair but i noticed my skin has just not been as like nice lately um and i think that has to do because i stopped taking my liquid collagen i just forgot like just got in the way i'm a million weeks pregnant um so i just ordered more and we have been getting like now where we live we get it's not uh we can get same day amazon if you order by a certain time but we can also get like overnight so it has been so amazing literally waking up and having things on our porch like there have been i think this is she didn't come today overnight she was the 7 to 11 but like we it's like 4 to 8 a.m or something and when you're moving you know there's just a lot of things you're like oh god i need this i need this i need this and it's been so nice because we live out in the country like not having to go anywhere and still being able to get this stuff and like literally i wake up like the other day we just realized like needed to get rid of all of our hand towels they were from our wedding registry they were old and dingy so we tossed them all pregnancy brain didn't buy new ones so i got in the house and i was like oh god we have no hand towels none so everyone was using paper towels and I was like, I don't like that. <laughs> like that's just not good for the environment. So I ended up um, just getting on Amazon, placing a regular order. Very next morning, woke up 4 a.m. Um, or I woke up at, it was 6 a.m. that morning and they were already on the porch and they had gotten delivered like 4.50. So I love that, you know, I do have that option here. It's really nice. But we are, um, I'm gonna kind of be switching around today. So. I am doing vlog stuff today. I'm also doing main channel stuff today. I have to film a main channel video today. Um, but it's gonna be interesting to try and see if I can like keep my headspace straight with what, what's what and what content is what. But um, I have to start filming my maternity leave content. And cause we are like, we are right there, man. 36 weeks and I am 36 weeks in two days today. Um, and I want to kind of get this, this part of the house organized. So, um, I'm gonna kind of try and do a little like vlog style main channel video as well. So that'd be fun, but I am just finishing up getting ready. I do think nesting has kicked in a little bit because I can't sit down and I have the urge to like, this house is brand new and yesterday I was on my hands and knees scrubbing something and Sam was like, please get up. I need you to, I need you to get up and not do that again. <laughs> but I want to clean. And he was like, okay, let's calibrate how important that is that you be on your hands and knees at 10 o'clock at night, scrubbing that thing at 36 weeks pregnant. So he ended up doing it because he fussed at me enough. So um, today I have to go to the water district. I hate our water company. It's the, it is the same one that we used. We're still close enough that we are still within like the same company district, whatever. Everyone has been so easy. Like our renter's insurance, easy to, the easiest to cancel um took five minutes the energy company i could have done it all online but i had some questions because i actually did it backwards i started the service here before i stopped the service at our old house again using the same company i think all of south carolina or at least all of the upstate uses duke energy um so it like took me to the page where it was like cancel service and it gave me two options and it had them labeled by the meter and i was like i don't know which meter is my new house or my old one so i had to call still took five minutes um windstream probably took like 15 water company she literally picked up the phone i was like i mean i can you can start your new service online but you're just gonna need to come in and confirm your identity and I was like, oh, okay, like, that's annoying. <laughs> and while we're doing this, she's like, okay, so um, I see here, this is your name, this is the last four of your social, this is your phone number, this is your old address, this is, um, you were, like, you were at that old house for this many years and you always paid your bill with this card. Like, literally had all this information because she was gonna stop the service up there. And I'm like, so you can stop the service and you can see that I am who I say I am and that I am who I say I am for the last seven years. But you can't, but I have to come up there and confirm that I am Mariah. So I gotta waddle my pregnant ass up there. And that is gonna be so interesting because I don't hear great things about the customer service up there. I've never been up there. Um, I do not remember going up there the first time, like at all, but I guess I did um, 
or maybe, you know, Sam might have actually done it, but I, they don't have a good reputation because they are the only water company like around here and they know it. So, um, yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of the gist for today. So I'll show y'all my kind of setup we got going on here. So this is what y'all were just sitting on, but I've got my tray with like my most used stuff, my prenatals and probiotics. Um, I'm going to switch to this same brand, but I'm going to do the lactation probiotic. I did that with Ezra. I really liked that brand. Um, so I have all this stuff, raspberry leaf tea. We're up to three cups a day and I'm fairly organized. That is a, um, this is an organizer I'm still going to use. And then my hand towel rack, but I do still have a couple boxes. Nothing great. Oh, hi, sir. Hello, have we decided to venture out and actually see what house is, what the house is like? Y'all, he has had the worst anxiety. Come here, it's okay. I'm surprised. Like of all of our animals, I thought he would be the one to like take over the quickest. He, this is the first time I've seen him, legit, out in the daytime in three days. He only comes out at night and he meows the entire time. That girl right there, yeah, she's had no problem with the transition. Um, back to what I was saying though, I have, couple more boxes in here. I have to hang up my hat. And then I think we're pretty much done in the bathroom. Um, I made this mess on Sam's side, but let me show y'all. We got this baby proofing and I actually, it seems very inconvenient. However, I prefer these because I feel like they're a lot um, better on your cabinet, but you need the magnet to open up. So Sam's is like a little bit more utilitarian <laughs> underneath here. Um, extra soap, you know, toothpaste, flossers, deodorant, stuff like that. And you can actually see they are really powerful, but they're not damaging, which I like. I did. I felt like our other child proofing stuff was really damaging. And then mine is significantly more um, beauty product based. So I've got like all my new face devices, you know, the little derma rollers, extra lashes, extra razors, all this kind of stuff down here. So we've made good headway, but still have a lot way to go. My mom and her best friend came. I'll show y'all because Ezra is not here. Um, they came and actually organized both boys nurseries the other day, which was a huge help. So. So if I get delivered tomorrow, I don't think this rug is staying. We just laid it out because we wanted to go ahead and get it um, flat. It's gonna come into the game room. But look at this. My mom and her best friend got so much stuff organized in here. So it was super nice of them to come do all this um, and just kind of go through everything. And they got rid of like toys that Ezra had that were like half the pieces had gotten broken or misplaced or whatever. So it wasn't like a full set. They went through all that. So it's been, it's been a lot faster than I thought. We just have random straggler bins like that, but seriously, it, I have been so impressed with how fast we have gotten everything moved into this house, but also so grateful because it is like solely our friends and family. Um, after we moved in on Saturday, let's see, Sunday was when my mom's, yeah, it was Sunday. Sunday was when my mom's best friend came over and they went through all that stuff. Um, yesterday morning, so Sam took off yesterday to kind of just help get settled. Yesterday morning, one of our best friends, like in our group, our friend group came, he works night shift and came on his way to his house after working a full night shift and help Sam put garage shelves together. So we're just, we're very grateful for our friends. They have done more than they will ever know. Um, I'm very out of breath, but we're slowly but surely getting there. It's happening, we're moving, things are moving relatively quickly. And my goal is this weekend, I am 37 <laughs> weeks pregnant, so I probably need to admit, like I don't think this baby's gonna come that early, but there, you still need to be prepared. Um, especially with the second baby and especially with a fast labor with the first. I, I need to be prepared just in case we do have a really fast delivery with the second. So this weekend, my goal is to go into the baby's room, get a list of everything that we still need um, for him, get it ordered. And then I also think I'm gonna pack my hospital bag this week. I may not pack everything, but I wanna get at least his stuff washed, put aside. I wanna get like my robe put aside. I wanna get the essentials. Like I would love to get my snacks this weekend. Um, 
and those things. And then this is actually so nice. So mounting kit, we had to get a replacement for. Um, Amazon customer service was amazing for that. They, that's a frame TV. We have not put the actual frame around it. We just have it on the little legs because the mounting kit, like one of the pieces came broken. Amazon fixed it in like five minutes, um, made it super, super easy. And then that is the other frame TV. There is still a wire showing. Um, but those are getting put up this week. <laughs> And then all this, so it's ha like it really is. It's moving quickly. I feel like I'm kind of talking fast, but it feels good. Like I think the move is f happening a little bit faster than I originally anticipated. Like once we got in, how it would feel to be moved in, but it, it's happening. So we are very excited. I have to get all this stuff cleaned up by the weekend because this weekend we are getting the snow back out. So just it's happening i'm so excited i feel so just like good to be in the house less stressed out as far as like timing and then this bad boy is from walmart and absolutely stunning so you can mount this but it also has a stand so sam's still going to of course childproof it but it um is like the prettiest mirror. It's like 80 something inches. I think they have a shorter one. I also think they have it in gold, but I'm five foot nine. And when I walk up to it, like it's one of those where you like can't see the edges really until you get down here when you're like, you know, taking an outfit pick or whatever. So that's that. All right, I'm like heavy breathing so hard, um, but I gotta get going to the water district and then I gotta come back and film, finish unpacking some stuff. Gonna film a main channel video. And just keep on. There she is. Do you like it? Do you like it? Come here. Do you want me to help? Okay. Come here. So, sofa just got delivered from West Elm. I will put the details in the description bar below. This is actually going to go into the game room. I had ordered it with hopes that it might work in here, but I actually kind of was also hoping it would work in the game room. Um, it's a little more blue than I wanted, but I feel like, I mean, I don't know, it, kind of, it pulls some grays, but I just want something that's like, this is a really, really soft rug. So I wanted something soft in the game room. And then <laughs> the sofa is from West Elm, but the chairs are from Target and they look like they came together. Honestly, they're so similar in color. This has got to go, that's got to go. We just were keeping those because we weren't 100% sure how it was all going to work out, but... I'm so happy with it. It is gorgeous and we need a different color rug in here, a coffee table. I think we're only going to put a table either there or there. Um, probably there now that I'm like looking at it, but I love it. Delivery was so good too. Hey, we don't play in the fireplace. Really the lamp was just like a, I didn't want rid of it thing until new. But as far as like placement of furniture goes, yeah, I do think this is gonna be kind of the way we end up doing everything. And that is a performance fabric, so it actually, um, they say holds up really well. It feels really nice too, so. All right, Chunky Man. Oh, oh. Again, I mean, we need to zhuzh it, but get a new table, get a new, um, lamp and then we'll kind of start completing this area hello guys hello. He oh yeah you gotta tell everybody hello say hello we are on our way to sam's club and then target to get postpartum supplies and then the frozen meals they're not frozen i keep saying that they don't come right they don't come frozen i'm not making that up but a you couple can't of them do and some of them don't okay so maybe that's where they come from. But we are getting, and we need to get breakfast stuff too. We don't need to just focus on dinner. So remember we did that with us where we had like the microwave thing. So I am officially 37 weeks pregnant tomorrow. Um, I had like a contraction yesterday. I've had a contraction today. Everything's tight and crampy. So I was like, all right, we gotta get it together. We gotta go get stuff ready for this baby. So we're gonna go get the meals, like the pre-made meals that they have and then those sorry that's a little bit shaky this is like a loose thing um they have meals that are really good and you can just stick them in the freezer and then you thaw them out and they make so much food and now we're gonna get breakfast 
stuff that's like heat up breakfast, microwave breakfasts for once we have the baby. And then they have really good prices on the Always Discreet Boutique underwear. So um, those are what I prefer. I don't like the mesh panties. And then Target, I'm gonna hit up Target for some of the stuff. So I'll show y'all what I got, but I have to say, don't buy Freedom Mom brand. I don't know why everybody raves about that brand. It's so expensive and you get such little quantity. Like I was looking on Target the other day, you can get like 100 witch hazel wipes for like, I think it was like three, $3 or something. It might've been four. And it's the exact same thing as the Freedom Mom where you get 24 wipes for $12. Y'all, that is insane. So that's what we're doing today. And we got Chunky Man and it's gonna be interesting to see how this whole Sitch works with his at home. Let me walk you through um, everything that I purchased. I actually am, I, I only got the things postpartum that I got with Ezra, that I only used with Ezra, because I feel like I bought everything after Ezra. So much of it went to waste, so much of it I had too much of, and the biggest thing was I didn't like everything. Like, for me, it was more important, oh sorry, that I have um, like I did not like that foaming. Everyone, everyone writes about Freedom Mom. I, I don't get it. But everyone was like, oh, that foaming healing stuff. I hated that. Um, and then like there were some things that I purchased. I can't remember, but I only got what I used with Ezra because I'm not, I'm not wasting money again. But let me show you like all the meals and stuff. And then I'll also show you postpartum supplies. So Sam's Club has these in a plethora. So I figured I'd make some Ninja Creamy ice cream with those. Um, these are for breakfast for after we have the baby because it's really good to have high protein breakfast. They make you feel fuller longer, obviously. Um, and these are just easy, easy, easy to cook. You can literally pop them in the microwave. These are the meals that we got. So we got two of the chicken Alfredo. They actually didn't have that many. There was like a whole section of them gone. I was so bummed, but this is still six meals because this is a ton of food. So we're gonna split these in half and then freeze them. So we got two of the chicken Alfredo and then what is that? Cheese manicotti, <laughs> probably butchered that. Um, we got both of those last time though. They're really good, they're our favorites. Lots of Clorox wipes just because we're almost out. I love these on a regular basis and so does Ezra. So we have sweet and salty almond. These are my fave. Sam likes the peanut butter. Um, but snacks on snacks on snacks. And then these are actually Ezra's fave. So I wouldn't say these are necessarily for postpartum. These are like for us now. And then body armor light for breastfeeding. This is a variety pack. I got orange, clementine, peach, mango, strawberry, lemonade, and kiwi strawberry. The coconut water is what helps your breast milk supply. You do have to drink a fair amount of them for it to really make a difference, but you know, anything that can help in those first early days, especially when you're really stressed about it, bonus. And then, so the price of these actually isn't that different from Target to Sam's Club, but the 40 pack is the biggest thing. I can only find 12 or 36 at my Target, which 40 is not that much more, but it does still make a difference. So. Um, something I've said before is the small medium size chart is not accurate. So go with the large or up, like basically from large on. A lot of people told me that and I did not listen and I got a pack of small mediums and I was like, I within the small medium weight range by a large margin, what is going on? And they just don't fit. So definitely stick with large. Then I got a basket because I'll show y'all like the baskets I'm putting together. Um, I'm putting in one in the half bath here and then one in the primary bathroom here. But we got, let's see. These are an absolute essential. Okay, I got two. You need these. I have one, um, I'll probably keep one in each basket and then I'll pull the one out of my um, primary bathroom, like actual bathroom at nighttime because I swear these are even like nice in the shower. So two of those. Sam wanted Ezra to have this. I don't know why. We have never, like, he's never been a lover of Toy Story in the entire million years I've known him, so I don't know why I got that, but he did. Um, these are really nice. I actually found that I didn't wear pads super long. I kind of went from these full-time to these full-time for, like, a day or two max, and then I went to panty liners. So I didn't get a ton of these. I might regret that, but um, these are the ones that at least I like because they're just long and large. <laughs> um, and then this is all, okay, hold on. 
We did get two hampers, which is what I literally just told her. I was like, just put everything in the hamper. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're just gonna unbag everything, just like throw it all in there. These were $7. They're really good quality. Sam and I just realized we needed some more. Like we just, this house just, we needed like laundry baskets and stuff like that. We still have to get some collapsible ones, but so we got two of these. They're $7 a piece. They're really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna do a full breakdown um, of pricing and stuff and like cost per wipe and all that on my TikTok. But I think I mentioned, so you will literally, you need to look at the active ingredient or just like the ingredient list on things. You are overpaying for so many products. Um, if something is called like extra strength, even like Tylenol, sometimes it just, you don't realize like what you're actually paying for is these like extra strength and if you look at the milligrams and then the price, like you're not getting this extra strength product that another brand doesn't have for a fraction of the price. So I got stool softeners, 160 pack of these. You can definitely wait and ask your doctor to give you a prescription or they might just give you one already. But in my experience with stool softeners, they take a minute to work. So definitely if you are approaching your due date, I recommend just take it maybe just like one a day. You don't even have to do the full, like I think, what are the directions? Um, the directions are like, if you're over 12 years old, take one to three soft gels daily. I wouldn't maybe recommend taking three, but if you're approaching your due date, it can't hurt to take like one because that way it's gonna go ahead and get your body a little bit used to it. You need these for after labor. The medicated wipes, um, I took a picture. So you can get 24 wipes in the Freedom On brand for like 13 bucks. These were like three. This is 48 wipes, it's like three or four bucks. Same exact ingredient, literally, exact same. Wipes, just doesn't have the Freedom On name on it. Um, preparation H, same thing. If I don't remember anything for the hospital, I will remember this. This is the um, Target version of the, the Preparation H, basically. Same exact ingredient, fraction of the price. Same with these, I really liked these. Um, the medicated wipes I found were, like, these were nice when I was at the hospital, the little medicated pads. You can get 100 count of these, like, next to the tux. I think these were like $4 cheaper for the tux at the exact same price, exact same ingredients. It's just cheaper. Um, these I actually really liked at the hospital because they just were very cooling. <laughs> I found that when I got home, and I was like a little deeper into postpartum was when I liked these. So that's why I have both. Some people may prefer one, but for me, I liked, like I think both are great. I just use these like one to two weeks out versus this was like, I was lining my um, always discreet underwear with these. Like I would put like four or five of these in there. So that's what we got for postpartum. I think I need to call this vlog here. I have no idea what we vlogged, but y'all we have moved in. Like we are so, we've done so good. I ordered a different rug. So I got a new rug. We're gonna get a new coffee table again. New setup with this, but just for the time being, it is totally fine. So um, we are just moved in. Like that's literally right here. The only boxes we have left apart from like two boxes in our office and we are 100% moved in. So it feels really good. It happened really fast. Um, we just got a lot of get up and go to us. So thank y'all for watching the vlog. We'll see you next time.